Now, to present the award for Foodie of the Year, foodies in their own right, Andrea Molenauer and Jim Denovan. Did anybody enjoy the food this evening from the pop-up vendors? My name is Andrea Molenauer. I'm one of the, <laughs> thank you, one of the co-owners of the Food Lounge, and um, we hope you enjoyed the mini version of our night market here this evening at the Nexties. Happens every month at the Food Lounge. Uh, I'm Jim Denovan. I do outstanding in the field, the big table in the field that you've seen. Really big table all over the place. Liz is. Uh, is a close is a close uh, compatriot in, in the food effort, and I want to sing a song to her. <laughs> it's actually my favorite song. It's called um, "Loving You" by Minnie Ripperton. Here goes. <laughs> Loving you <laughs> is easy because you're beautiful. <laughs> Thanks for the encouragement, <laughs> but that's it. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> so, foodie of the year. This woman is brilliant, both her smile and her mind. She's passionate about food and community, education and history. Please join us in welcoming and celebrating Liz Birnbaum. Didn't expect that. Did you guys expect that? No, probably not. Thank you, Andrea and Jim. That was so wonderful. Uh, and I'm definitely blushing and in a red dress. It's probably all over. Um, but it's really an honor to be here tonight with so many community innovators. And as a foodie, I have traveled a road with many forks. And it's not always so apparent to me that I would be here, but Growing up, I was dissociated from the origins of my food. I grew up on food stamps, and honestly, I would look forward to one event per year. It was the Passover Seder, where we would connect, my family would connect with food and ritual, and we gather around a table, and we would dip bitter herbs in salt water to think about the bitterness of slavery and the tears shed over people um, who had been in bondage. As this meal became a rhythm of my life each spring, I realized that this exact kind of gathering had been how people had connected and talked for thousands of years. I saw food as a part of history and as a way to access history in the present. This knowledge was my first fork in the road. Today I still follow what I'm really excited about, and of course it's still food as I'm here today with a mug etched with my name and the word foodies, pretty exciting. <laughs> Hope they feel it, we fill it with beer later. Yeah. Um, but food is really the most endlessly interesting topic that I've ever known. Food touches environment and economy, history and future, art and social justice. And most of us interact with it three or more times a day. The next is a celebration of innovators in this community and a peek into what's coming in the future. But tonight, I want to ask that we also remember that in each meal we eat and the food that was here before, millions of innovators, farmers, seed savers, and cooks through time touch those recipes to get them here today. So I hope we can share a meal together soon. Thank you so much for this honor.